The 22-year-long mega drought in the southwestern part of North America is forcing water agencies in the southwest to take unprecedented actions to keep water flowing to their customers. The southwestern part of North America is in the 22nd year of a historic mega drought. This mega drought is forcing water agencies in parts of the southwest to take unprecedented measures to keep water supplies flowing to their customers. The Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, the MWD, is one such agency. The MWD prov provides water to a large part of Southern California, either as the sole supplier or as a secondary supplier to 26 other water agencies. The MWD receives its water from three sources, the California Water Project, the Colorado River, and from recycling wastewater. The California Water Project moves water from Central and Northern California to Southern California through a system of canals, reservoirs, and pipelines. In addition to these sources, the MWD has about a six-month emergency supply of water in its Diamond Valley Lake Reservoir. The water in this lake came from the California Water Project in earlier years when allocations were higher. Because of the mega drought, the MWD received only a tiny fraction of its normal allocation last year and this year, as can be seen on, in the chart on the left. For logistical reasons, about 6 million of the 19 million people served by the MWD receive water that comes entirely or mostly from the California Water Project. Because of the meager California Water Project allocations for 2021 and 2022, and with the prospect of a third year of very low California Water Project allocations for the coming water year, for the first time in its history, the MWD Board of Directors has issued orders to the local agencies serving these 6 million people to either cut back outdoor watering to one day a week or to meet certain total usage maximums. If these goals are not met, the MWD will impose stiff fines on the agencies that exceed their allocations. The declaration of a water shortage emergency by the MWD requires the six agencies listed here to develop plans to implement the restrictions on outdoor watering and other usage by June 1st of this year, 2022. Should the situation worsen, the MWD can order all outdoor watering to cease in these areas. Provided that the affected areas shown here implement these cutbacks appropriately, the state has agreed to provide enough additional state water project water to meet human health, safety, and sanitation requirements. The impact of these cutbacks is expected to be severe, causing substantial long-term damage to parks and recreation areas, as well as to lawns and gardens. In addition, large numbers of trees are likely to die. Local water managers have said that this is uncharted territory for them, and it may take decades to recover from the effects when the drought ends. The decision by the MWD to issue these unprecedented restrictions on water use was based at least in part on the recognition of the impact of climate change on the ability of the agency to meet the water needs of Southern California residents. What this means is that outdoor watering restrictions may, may well become permanent and the future Southern California landscape will be much less green than in the past. It's a realization that if climate change continues on, a, on its present path, there will not be enough imported water for the region to look like an English countryside, and that it will come to look more like the desert Southwest of which it is a part. 
Southern California is not the only area facing severe water problems because of the current mega drought in the Southwest. According to a recent article in the Las Vegas Sun newspaper, Lake Powell, which is formed by the Glen Canyon Dam, has dropped to 25% of its capacity. And downstream, Lake Mead behind Hoover Dam is at 35% of capacity. The Glen Canyon Dam produces a substantial amount of electricity for the Southwest and it is essential that the water level in Lake Powell doesn't drop below the 3,940 foot level needed to keep the Glen Canyon Dam generators operating properly, as well as to supply water to Page, Arizona and the Lachi chapter of the Navajo Nation. In order to achieve the, this goal, agreements have been reached to reduce the amount of water flowing from Lake Powell downstream to Lake Mead by, oh, by 480,000 acre feet over the coming year. In addition, agreements also have been reached to permit the release of about 500,000 acre feet of water from the Flaming Gorge Dam in Utah over the next year to help maintain water levels in Lake Powell. In earlier times, the 480,000 acre foot reduction in water supply from Lake Powell would have dropped the Lake Mead water level below the intakes to the pumping stations used to pump water over the Hoover Dam. However, in response to the drought conditions of the past several years, the Southern Nevada Water Authority had the foresight to construct a third pumping station to be used when the water levels in Lake Mead drop below a thousand feet above sea level. This pumping station has been turned on for the first time to cope with the falling water level at the lake. This will allow the Southern Nevada Water Authority to continue to provide water to its customers in the greater Las Vegas and Clark County area as well as to send a small, of water, a small amount of water downstream to California. Approximately 40% of the water provided to its customers by the Southern Nevada Water Authority is used indoors. And about 99% of this indoor wastewater is recycled and returned to Lake Mead. However, 60% of the Southern Nevada Water Authority water is used outdoors and eventually is lost to evaporation. Like the MWD in Southern California, the Southern Nevada Water Authority is developing plans to reduce the use of outdoor water on a permanent basis. Thanks for watching. I will do my best to reply to your comments. Please take some time to watch some of my other videos on climate issues. Just click on the link below.